I wanted to do a little experiment about how much force it takes to use an auto injector. And I have here some expired auto injectors, which I've written the date on. Um, so let's see what we got here. 2015, 2016. So the last EpiPen I got was from 2014. I still have it around. It's never been used. Um, and I started getting these Adrenaclix in 2015 and then I got a set of Adrenaclix in, well these are the generic Adrenaclix in 2015-2016 uh, I've got four of those right? and I carry with me my newest Adrenaclix so what I'm going to do is I'm going to inject into this orange it's a, it's a small orange so so it's on the scale it's uh, 2.1 ounces is the orange I'm gonna hit the tear button it's gonna reset to zero and let's go see how much pressure it takes to trigger these auto injectors so take it out of the case this one is from 2015 it's got the gray caps on it, it says one and two on it so first you pull one off then you pull the other off and I'm going to go really slow so we can watch the pressure on the scale. See how much it takes to inject. Okay. And it comes out with the, you know, you can still see the needle here. Alright, so that was a little bit heavier pressure than I thought it would take. Uh, let's try another one. 2015 vintage, two gray caps, pull off number one, pull off number two, and here goes again. Okay, number two, fired, same result. Okay, newer vintage. So the two 2015s were the same, uh, or, uh, received at the same time in the same batch. Uh, here we have the 2016 versions, which has the blue cap. It doesn't say, it doesn't say pull one off sooner than the other. It just says pull both ends off. I'm gonna pull them off in reverse order this time just to show that, you know, no big deal. Same difference. Here goes the injection. All right. There's another one. Another 2016. Blue caps, pull off one end, pull off the other end. Here we go. This orange is loaded up with epinephrine. Okay. That's all my expired generic auto injectors. Now here comes the comparison. This is a live 2014 vintage EpiPen and pull the blue cap off. You know the caps on the ends of these things are not that much different. I'm, I'm going to go right on. I'm going to go real slow so you can see how much pressure it takes. Self-shielding needle. Perfectly safe. That's all there is to it.